In this section, we're going to be talking about proving triangles similar. So you want to remember similarity is different from congruence because similarity just means same shape but doesn't have to be the same size. Okay, so we're going to have three similarity reasons for similarity and a couple of them are going to sound very similar to uh, our congruence reasons. So you want to make sure you're looking carefully at what makes the reason work. So the first is angle-angle similarity and it states exactly what we need to know. Basically, two angles of our triangles need to be congruent, then we got similar triangles. All right, so let's go ahead and write that down, right? If two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then the two triangles are similar. Taking a look at these triangles that I've sketched out in red, we've got triangle ABC and XYZ. So again, as long as we know two angles are congruent to each other, then the triangles are similar. So for example, if we know angle A is congruent to angle Z, right, and angle B is congruent to angle Y, then we can say that triangle ABC is similar to triangle XYZ. Remember, that's the symbol for similarity. And that works because, again, as long as the angles are all the same in your triangle, um, the sides are all going to be proportional. And we know angle C and angle X would be congruent by your third angle theorem. That's why we only need two angles and not three. Okay? Um, so take a look at example one. Think about this. Uh, let's go ahead and name these triangles. Here we can call it A, B, C, D, E. I want you to tell me why the triangles are similar. So tell me what reasons make it similar, and then write the similarity statement. So take a moment and think about it, right? Obviously, we've only talked about one, so we need, a two, we need to know two angles are current. Which two are they? Well, clearly from the given, angle A is congruent to angle D because that was given to us. And then we can also see, what do we know about angles uh, B, C, A, and D, C, E. All right, and you'll see B, C, A here in yellow, and D, C, E there in the purple. Those are our vertical angles, so we know that angle B, C, A is congruent to angle D, C, E because they're vertical angles. All right, and then we can say that triangle A, B, C is similar to triangle uh, let me clear that up a little. Okay, let's try that again. So triangle ABC is similar to triangle uh, DCE by angle angle similarity, right? So in that type of problem, I want you to tell me what you know, right, and what's going to prove um, the triangle similar. So if you just told me ABC and DC are similar, that's not enough. You're going to have to tell me why, okay? Second up, next up we have a side angle side similarity. So let's see what that says. All right, so this one says, if two sides of one triangle are proportional to two sides of another triangle, then the included angles are congruent, oh, and the included angles are congruent, sorry, then the triangles are similar. So notice again, um, similarity talks about proportionality. So we don't need the two sides to be congruent, we need them to be proportional. So for example, if you take a look at these two triangles down here, ABC and XYZ, if I knew, for example, AB and its corresponding side ZY, that ratio is equal to BC and its corresponding side YX, that's proportional, right? So those are two pairs of sides that are proportional. Then we need to know that the included angles are congruent. So we need to look at the angles that are sandwiched between those two pairs of proportional sides. So that would be angle B, and angle Y, okay? Um, so if we knew that angle B is congruent to angle Y, then we would be able to say altogether that triangle ABC is similar to triangle um, ZYX. And just to make this really clear with this proportional bit, you need to show me that the ratios are equal. So for example, if AB was nine and YZ was 18, and BC was 6, and XY is 12, they both reduce down to 1 over 2 or 2 over 1. That would make it proportional, okay? Last one is side-side-side similarity. And this one says, if all three corresponding sides of two triangles are proportional, then the two triangles are similar. So you want to make sure all um, three are going to end up with your same ratio. So for example here, if AB corresponds to, let's say, XY, 
that would make those two sides proportional. And then if BC corresponds to YZ, and that ratio equals the first, that's proportional, right? And finally, the last two sides, AC and XZ, they ought to have the same um, ratio as well. If this, these three things were true, then we would be able to say that triangle ABC is similar to triangle XYZ by side, side, side similarity. Make sure you have um, your ratios lined up correctly. So see how I put the small triangle on top and the large triangle on the bottom? I stayed consistent. You want to make sure you do that. Every year I do see people kind of mix it up and then they'll say, wait, why are, do I have reciprocals? And that's usually why. Um, and to make this really clear, you can see some numbers. So for example, if AB is 7, BC is 6, and AC is 8, then, um, and XY is, let's say, 21, YZ is 18, and AC is 24. If I plug those into these three fractions, I would get the ratio of 1 to 3, right? And then I'd get 1 to 3, 1 to 3, 1 to 3 for all three of them. And that's how side, side, side works. So we're looking at those ratios. Remember, not congruent because we want similar. They can be bigger, smaller than the other, but they just have to maintain the same proportion.